Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. For the first video of 2023, I thought it'd be really cool to look back on the year that has been and what I really learned from sitting with my own wardrobe, styling up outfits, going through my day to day, what are the overarching themes or real points that I really want to make note of and take with me into this year so that I can get better at them, practice them, or at least just know exactly what works for me and what doesn't. So this video is telling you about my experience, but I certainly hope that you will find inspiration from listening to what I've learned. I'm definitely constantly trying to slow down, really wear what I have, understand why I make the choices I do, also filter through the noise of constant marketing and bombardment of needing to have new or needing to look a certain way or just wanting to fit in with what everyone's doing with whatever's trending on TikTok. things are a bit crazy out there i like to just hone in on what i can do with what i already have and what can i really teach myself through just my own personal experience of wearing my clothes the first point that i want to highlight is that dressing well or putting outfits together that reflect who I am to the outside world really makes me feel confident but it's not only for how other people perceive me or what I want them to view it's really just the most consistent and easiest way to have positive reinforcement in my life when I look good I feel good when I think I look good or if I feel like I'm standing in front of the mirror going mm, you got it. You know that feeling when you just absolutely have nailed your outfit, you're going to tackle the day. It just makes everything seem a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, and there's a sense of power in that. I'm definitely going to be reminding myself going forward that dressing well is not about what I want other people to see, or if I want them to maybe comment on my look or impress people with how I dress. It's definitely first and foremost how I want to make myself feel because that consistency of confidence and positivity is really a great level, a great frequency of energy, if I can say, not to sound too woo-woo about things. That's the level I want to stay at as often as possible. As much as sometimes I think, is this whole thing superficial? Is there such a need to focus so much on what we wear? And I think if you're interested in fashion and it's something that you love, yes it is for me it's definitely a thing that i'm going to continue to research and continue to try and understand myself better why i wear what i wear and to know exactly when i get it right so i can replicate that and have more days where i'm just feeling fabulous really important then that clothing is used as a tool it's not the superficial thing it really can lift the mood make us feel better about ourselves and that filters on down into our lives so in those moments where I just want to lounge around in nothing I want to say could I just put on another comfortable pair of pants that's a little bit more dressy can I think about this relaxed outfit that I'm wearing and then also if I do have to pop out or someone invites me for a coffee I easily can pop on a cap a great pair of sunnies put on a coat and really good to go. The second thing I really learned this past year is to lead with practicality first. Meaning that when I build my outfits, I think about the weather, the location I'm going, am I going to the office, am I going to the supermarket, am I going to be outdoors, things like that. Is it cold? Is it hot? It's definitely not hot these days. <laughs> but you get what I mean. If the sun is shining, do I have a pair of sunnies with me? Do I have a cap? Do I have a hat? Those kinds of things. Feeling comfortable with what I'm wearing gives me confidence. And I'm definitely prone to want to look on the dressier side in that I'll wear blazers, I'll wear big shoulder pads, I'll wear a lot of jewelry or earrings. I love a fabulous shoe but there's nothing worse than feeling uncomfortable or being caught off guard and your outfit then is not really working for you. I always look at the weather, living in the UK the weather is super unpredictable so important to look at that first, see what the temperatures are, is it going to rain and if you do have to have a raincoat, if you do have to wear a practical shoe, if I'm going to be doing some walking in the day, I uh, make sure then to balance my outfit. So I still want to feel like myself but if I'm wearing something that I don't love, I don't love wearing a raincoat, I don't love wearing a practical shoe, I much prefer to be teetering around in a kitten heel, that is my favourite shoe of choice. But if I do have to wear this practical footwear or something because of the weather, I balance the rest of the outfit. When I'm wearing a more casual practical shoe, I definitely know 
I probably want to go with a blazer or I definitely want to go with some bold jewelry. Definitely feeling comfortable as much as possible, making sure my outfits are practical, but because I know that my fashion heart just loves to be dressed up, I make sure to add those elements in and balance my outfits as often as possible. The third thing that I really felt was a theme for my year of 2022 within my wardrobe is that I'm really going to be making a point to get rid of anything that I don't absolutely love in my closet. And that's even practical items, that's even a simple white t-shirt. I also have multiples of things, but when I have multiples of things, I notice myself justifying having maybe three navy jumpers by wearing all of them when in actual fact i just like one the most why don't i just keep that one and wear it to death i'm not condoning throwaway culture here at all if i've got two or three of something i'm always drawn to one as my favorite it's really just been staring me in the face every time i open my cupboard or open a drawer i look at what i have and the items that i don't love the most distract me and I find myself trying to make outfits with them, trying to make myself feel good about them. When actual fact, I just want to wear my favorite things. So why not only have my favorite things? And of course, we can't change the fact that we make mistakes if I've over-purchased and over-consumed, which is the worst thing to do. But you know what? Slap yourself on the wrist. I'm going to learn a lesson here and take that into when I'm thinking about purchasing things in the future. And knowing that some things it's okay to have multiples of in different colors, but I don't need five white t-shirts if I really only like wearing one. Once the one has been worn to death, then I can replace with a new one. All the items that are obviously good enough to go to new homes, I've sold or given away and try to be obviously conscious about where I put things out and how I get rid of the things that I own. And going forward, the lesson learned is just to stop buying so much and to really know that I only want to have things that I love in my wardrobe going forward. Another thing I've really learned in 2022 and ties into wanting to be a lot more consistent with creating this content and making videos for you guys. These are about my own style journey and I like sharing those experiences because I think people can relate or we can all learn something from everyone's different experiences. It's also about the things I make but I've really learned that when I'm making these videos or if I'm thinking about the content for the videos it's forced me to really sit with my wardrobe. My favorite new idea, not necessarily a new idea, lots of people do it. My favorite new sort of fresh take on leading forwards into 2023 and trying to really slow down and be more conscious about how I clothe myself and anything that I accumulate is that buying something new is not really ever the answer. It's no doubt that I think the majority of people probably have more clothes than what we need and than what we'll ever wear. It's just a given, no matter how minimal your wardrobe is, unless you're drastic, of course. Even with a small wardrobe, I have a fairly small wardrobe, I think, for me. And it's highly unlikely I'm ever going to wear every single thing in that wardrobe to death. So when I feel those little pangs of needing to have something new, likely after a little session on Instagram, we're never going to get away from that. Well, I don't think I am. God. <laughs> when I've had those moments that I feel, oh, this thing is going to change my life, change my wardrobe, make me feel amazing. I stop, drop and roll. <laughs> Just get away and go and sit with my wardrobe. Planning little styling sessions for myself has been the best way to feel re-inspired and often I come away with just sitting with my clothes. I'll take all my t-shirts out the cupboard, I'll refold them, I'll look at all my jeans or I'll rehang my trousers. I've got very weird, odd little uh, storage spaces in my bedroom on this boat so sometimes I need to just do that out of necessity to keep everything neat and tidy. I often look at everything I have and I suddenly feel so grateful, I feel like my wardrobe is great, I see it new. I don't even always have to try the things on, it's just about having them out on the bed and looking at things, pairing them together, seeing new options, new color combinations. I often come away as if I have something new and I feel super excited to get dressed the next day. That is really something I'm going to continue and have really learned a lesson that when in the past, it's happened this past year in 2022, I have bought things on a whim and I've 
made mistakes. The final lesson I learned from 2022 in sitting with my wardrobe and trying to enjoy it as much as possible is to be absolutely unapologetic about that. There's this idea, an overarching theme in certain people's views I guess, that a lot of this stuff is superficial and quite frivolous and of course it can be but if I decide that this is my hobby or my main interest or something that I'm really really enthusiastic about and I want to make content around it and I know that dressing well makes me feel good and really just solidifies positivity around my life and my days I'm gonna be unapologetic about spending as much time as necessary in cultivating that so that's not browsing on the internet that's not spending time on Instagram for me it looks like just playing with my clothes. It's almost the adult version of playing with dolls or Barbies and dressing up. I want to be unapologetic about saying that I love to do this. I think about like a wardrobe, I guess, like a garden, let's say, and I'm not a gardener. Thank God I live on a boat. I don't have a lawn to mow or anything like that. If you let your garden get overgrown and you don't nurture it and you don't do certain things in certain times of the year, things are seasonal. Our wardrobes are seasonal. Things change. I really want my wardrobe to work hard. I put a lot of money and effort into it, so it's got to come to the party but I've got to give and put that effort in you know effortlessness is not without effort this is all encompassing so it is from in the winter debobbling things it is refolding things it's steaming things it's looking after our clothes it's cleaning my shoes before I put them back in my little shoe cupboard it's all these things that allow me to sit with my wardrobe, look at all my things, feel grateful for what I have, appreciate them, improve their longevity. Also keep consistently looking at what I have. So I know what's in my wardrobe, I know the looks I can create, and then I end up not feeling like I'm lacking. I feel really full and really grateful for all the items of clothing that I have. And of course, re-inspired to make new looks, blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing what I took away from 2022. If you learned anything from just living with your wardrobe and have any inspiring thoughts to share or tips and tricks, we're all here for it. A lot of things we've all heard before anyway, but I think it's that constant reinforcement that is really important. And so when ideas never roll, can always be put back into circulation and in today's climate we want to hear positive things when there is so much negativity around the whole clothing industry and why we wear what we wear and why we buy what we buy it can be a tricky territory to navigate pop your comments down below and happy new year to you let me know if you like this video and I'll see you for another one soon